What's up, guys? My boss here. And as you guys see, we got ourselves new Ultimate Legends in the game, though, with a limited time 99 overall Marshall Falk and a limited time Cornelius Bennett. We also got ourselves a Troy Vincent and Chris Carter as our two Ultimate Legends. And as you see here, we got this Titanium Collector Pack in for just the weekend. And so we're going to open that up, though. We're going to see if these packs are good or not. Because if, if they are, we're going to make ourselves some coins all this thing. So if you guys enjoy, let me know. Drop a like. Hit the turn notifications. Uh, there will be gameplay out going out through tonight and tomorrow with um, gameplay with new cards on the line. Because as you see, we do have Tua Tuckavailoa, which surprisingly with him, though, I played very well. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, we do need another wide receiver, though, that I want to check out because you'll see why, though, in the other gameplay. That will be up probably later on tonight. If not tonight, definitely tomorrow morning. And on defense, though, because of the 99 night train lane will be showing off as well. So those are the two cards we're showing off in the gameplay, though. If there's any of the new players you want from the Ultimate Legends, let me know in the comments down below. Now, if we head over here, those, if you guys are new or if you don't know by now, we head over to the Ultimate Legends to check them out, see if anything has changed with the set so far, which I don't think they have really, though, because they're still 98s. The limits are becoming 99s, but um, not all of them has changed as... If we had to, we gotta flip that around. Here we go. Yeah, to get either one of these cards, you're gonna need their 96 overall opposite card, another 96 overall, 293s, and 484s. Seems like with that, though, nothing has changed. We got ourselves, though, a cornerback, Chris Carter. And Troy Vincent, I would assume a wide, yep, a wide receiver, Troy Vincent. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool with that, though. The other two cards, like I said, though, both the limited, though, and Bennett, uh, Bennett and uh, Folk. But let's head over here right now, quick. This Titanium Collector Pack, I saw this on Twitter, and this I thought was very interesting. Contains one random item from among the following. A 98 overall Team Diamond, 96 and 97 overall Ultimate Legend players, a 94 plus, a 94 plus overall Redux player, a 95 overall NFL Combine player, a rare or better strategy item, 80 plus Platinum players with a chance of a 99 overall from the among Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, Barry Sanders, Troy... Uh, Tony Gonzalez, John Madden, left tackle, Lawrence Taylor, Patrick Mahomes, Darius Slay, Fred Warner, and Reggie White. Now, that's interesting. Now, if you want to know with that, it's just going to have the, what's it called? It's just the info of the pack, and that's it. I got myself a decent amount of training right now. Not like 8 million like everyone else does. Well, let's see what we get from this show. As we got ourselves a purple strat item. I'm just curious what this is. So, if you guys pulled anything awesome, any 99 pulls, let me know. I feel like there's going to be a lot of strat pulls in here. Um, I did pull one though off camera though, and it was a 94 Redux. But are these things better than training variety packs? Maybe we'll do a pack opening just with these alone, like we do with the uh, training variety packs. Because if that's the case, dude, I'm all for it. But right now, I'm not seeing anything too crazy from this pack. Like I said, maybe we can get something good, but so far, all I'm seeing are strat items and quick sell cards. That's really all I've been seeing so far. Now, hopefully, we can get something better right now as we got another platinum card. Now, do I think you can pull the limit out of here? I don't think so, actually. I don't think you can pull the limit out of these. I haven't seen it yet. If you guys have, let me know. And also, we might have enough for one or two more. I want to say one more. And yeah, we have only one more. Let's see. And we got another platinum. Okay. At least that's coins, though. We'll see how much that made from just that alone. But what was it, like 245k train? Probably not that much, though. That's my guess. But um, let's head over to newest. Just quick sell all the items because it wasn't that much. We only was it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, only eight. Nothing crazy. Quick 200k. I'll take that. Like maybe we can take the Chase Claypool here we have maybe and do something with it. Get some uh, some training here. I still have limited freaking to leave. I need to sell. But I'll worry about that later. Anyways. Let's head over to the auction house. Let's check out these Ultimate Legends. And again, if there's one of them you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments down below. So far, just from looking at them, just based off appearance, I'm not really interested, though, really in any of them. Because I like my outside linebackers of the way they are. Marshall Falk, to me, even though he's a good running back, in uh, obviously, in the NFL when he played, I'm not really the biggest fan of his card, though, in the game. Um, What else? Like I said, though, with uh, Bennett, um, what is it? I like my outside linebackers. Troy Vincent, we just got, um, what's his name? Nine Train Lane. So I don't really see myself using him. The only one I can see myself maybe using is Chris Carter to pair him up with Randy Moss. He has 98 speed, 97 jump, 99 catch, 97 catch and traffic, 95, 95, 
97 spec, 97 short, 97 medium with 93 deep. Oh, that was reading the awareness. Hello. That's why. Carl looks good, though. I do like it. Let's compare him to his teammate, though, here in Randy Moss just to see how he is, though, to compare. And just when comparing the two, though, Randy Moss is still a G. He's still good. But Chris Carter, though, is not that bad, though, if you want to get someone else in there, too. That's in compare, though, to Odell. So I like Chris Carter as a two. He would not be not that bad for the team if we do decide to get him. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about, though, is right here, 99 overall, Marshall Falk. He'll have himself 99 speed, 97 excel, 99 agility, 94 carry, 90 catch, 98 chain direction, 88 truck with 98 break tackle. Marshall Falk looks really good. You can definitely get uh, some strat irons, definitely get him out to 99 speed, excel, and agility. That's compared to Brees Hall. And Brees Hall is still just a G, bro. Look at this. The only big difference between these two cards is that, was it, Brees Hall has way better carrying, but Marshall Falk has better catching. And really, that's it. I oh, know, there's one more too. Uh, Brees Hall has better uh, trucking than Marshall Falk. And that's just my opinion on that. That's why I said really when it comes to running backs, though, unless it's someone that you guys want to see or someone that really like blows the doors off of me, I'm not that interested really though in the running backs. Here's Troy Vincent. He has 98 speed, 97 excel, 97 agility, 96 jump, 94 player, 96 man, 98 zone with 94 press. Let's compare him quick though to the new Night Train Lane, see what he's looking like. And Night Train Lane just blows this man away a little bit, in my opinion. For instance, everything but agility, though, he has way better than him at. And that's him compared to Aheed Talib, which you can put kind of a similar comparison to if you want to. And then compared to Kramati, Kramati even blows him away, though. They're almost about the same card, actually, too, in some stats. But nah, Troy Vincent, again, like I said, he's got Night Train Lane, so I can't really see myself using him. That's just me. And what is it? Maybe for you guys, though, he'll be uh, better in your scheme. Now, let's see. We did Troy Vincent. We did Chris Carter. We did do Marshall Falk. Last one is Cornelius Bennett. He will have himself 94 speed, 97 excel, 97 strength, 94 tackle, 95 player with 98 uh, block shed, 97 power move with 92 finesse move. For a Bills team, though, he does look good. I do like the card. But this is what I have to compare to Shaq Leonard, the maniac. This dude's still a ball to me. And honestly, I really can't see myself getting rid of the Maniac, though, unless someone else comes out. That would just blow it away. That's just my opinion, because that automatic X-Factor of Maniac on does help out a lot when it comes to the way I rush the passer. And really, that's it, though, with that. But I'm just having a train in my binder, though. Maybe I can get one more of those, uh, those training packs going. If not, it's probably going to do it. Let's see, because I don't want to quick sell that out, because so I want to sell him. I just want a quick thing of training. Um, what would it be if I quick sell that? Actually, no, it wouldn't be enough still. Dang. Um, let me see. That's coins. I'll quick sell Bryce Young, just because I don't like him. I honestly don't. If you guys pay attention to the NFL draft, though, Bryce Young to me. I'm not the biggest fan of him, though. He's it's, It was the same thing I have with Kyler Murray. Small, sa small stature doesn't work in this league. That's just my opinion. Here is the last uh, Titanium Collector pack we're going to open up, and that's probably going to do it, though, for this video. And, of course, it's another Platinum card, 80 overall. Not that shocking to me at all. But definitely want to get a lot more train with that, and I want to see if I can make coins. But that's probably going to do it for me. You guys can check out the lineup right here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will have the gameplay with Tua and with Night Train Lane up later on tonight. And tomorrow, I'll try to get a gameplay, though, with any of the new Ultimate Legends you want. Like I said, maybe we'll get Chris Carter. You guys have to let me know. Um, I'll record a pack opening, though, do, with Titanium Collector Packs. Maybe we can get something better from that. And I will have the CFM up probably tomorrow night. If not tomorrow night, definitely on Monday. Because I've been in contact, though, with my opponent. And it's a man Jets Media, yo. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Me and him both been hectic, though, with our schedules with work and whatever he has planned. So we're trying to play tomorrow. So that's going to be the goal for that. But anyways... That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please do me a favor. Drop a like. Hit the sub. Turn on notifications. So this way you guys do not miss a video. Follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description below. I hope everyone has a great day. Other than that, I am out, guys. I will catch you all in the next video. I'm sorry that I didn't hit you back. When you call my line, or did you even need to talk? Are you wasting time declining all your FaceTime calls? Because you're not my vibe, but I just...